Hello everyone, welcome to the class of AI and today we are going to see how to use Colab. So to start the Colab, basically Colab is a cloud-based Python environment where you can run your Python codes. So to start the Colab, you just type Colab and here you have been redirected to this particular window where you see the examples, markdown guide, chart, so there are so many examples. Recent thing you can see whatever files you have opened recently, you can find it over here. You can open the files which are saved in your Google Drive because this is connected with your Google. So to using this Colab, you need a Gmail account or basically a Google account. You can also open your means uh, your files through your GitHub account. So for example, over here, I just passed my handle the class of AI. And you see I have a single repository called introduction to Colab and uh, that is uh, means that over here there is a demo file so I if I click on it it can be open and if I want to upload any IYPNB file IPYNB file then I can just choose from here and open so let's now dive into into a new notebook which I open it from here <clears throat> and you see this new file is open and currently we have two things over here code and text so for example code cell is already added so let's type something so let's say print hello and welcome to the class of AI right and if I want to add text I just type it over here and I say this is the introduction to Colab and this is basically a markdown section so you have to follow the instructions which are means given for the markdown so for example if I write it this the output you can see over here and if I use hash it will become a heading so see like that if you put a double hash it will become a subheading so just follow the markdown instructions to write to comment your code if you want to explain anything right so in this way you just add the text and for example if i just if i want to run the code i said print hello welcome to the class of ai you see it's it's running and see the output is over here now if i want to add another cell i just click over here and if i write 2 plus 5 is equals to 7 so the output will be 7 so if i click over here and i add another code maybe 10 minus 8 you'll see whatever you type it will give you the output you can delete these things you can comment it from here and uh, these are the some points right now coming to the facilities they have in this uh, collab so let's go to this file menu and see so you can locate your drive you can open a python 3 notebook you can open python 2 notebook you can open a notebook located on your hard disk somewhere you can upload a notebook you can rename it you can move it to the trash you can save the copy to your google drive you can save a copy to your github you can save it which will again save it to your google drive you can download ipynb file you can download the pi file for example whatever you have written and you if you download it as a pi version then you can run it somewhere in pycharm or a spider or idle so these are the some options now edit is there so you can cut the cells you can paste the cells you can find you have notebook settings and the best thing is this over here in this environment that you can see we have an option of changing runtime type so for example if you want to use gpu in your environment you want to run your codes on gpu sometimes you do neural network and where the lot of matrix multiplication need to be done so what you are supposed to do you just go to the none and just select gpu and save it so once you save you will see it's allocating a virtual machine and it's showing it connecting and initializing and now it's connected right so now that means you have been redirected to a virtual machine where there is a gpu and now your codes will run so for example if i want to install something for example if i want to install a uh, maybe a tensorflow thing so i just write a command line means uh, command line uh, code so for example i say pip install 
tensor flow gpu version right so it's running and see successfully installed right so that means now it's installed and now you can use it right and uh, yep so this is what a basic introduction to basically to for example for your collab and if i want to rename it i would say for example intro to collab and now you see if i go and save a copy to my github so intro to this and it is going to commit in the class of ai intro to collab and now this is my intro to collab and if i do it see it's going to make a copy and you see if i go over here so you see basically uh, intro to collab is being committed just now so this is how you do your work on collab thank you for watching the video and in the next video hopefully we are going to see that how to load the files basically the data in your collab and how to work on the csv files thank you very much for watching please do subscribe my channel thank you